atmosphere. Check it myself. Where's CO2 today? Whoa! Over 400 ppm for the first time in human existence. Right here is where modern humans appeared on Earth. Right here is when we started burning fossil fuels. You see how carbon dioxide levels are going through the roof? And they're still climbing. Compared to the last 800,000 years, we're now emitting CO2 100 times faster than ever measured before. Since CO2 started spiking, our planet has definitely been heating up. That means there's more heat, heat energy to fuel the Earth's climate system. The water cycle goes in overdrive, so weather becomes more extreme. Climate change isn't a future problem. It's already started. We're breaking records left and right. In 2017, Arizona got so hot that the weather map ran out of colors. Hurricane Harvey dumped so much rain on Houston that the rain maps had to come up with new colors too. Dry places get drier. Wet places get wetter. Warm oceans expand and melting glaciers make sea levels rise even more. What does this all mean for the U.S.? Towns built on icy permafrost will just disappear. But even if you don't live in Alaska, maybe you live on a coast where rising sea levels could put your house underwater. Does your hometown get heat waves? They're getting worse. In the east, we're seeing more destructive storms and hurricanes. Severe droughts and flash floods are ruining farmlands. Wildfires are getting way bigger. Then there's a spread of diseases, like West Nile virus and Lyme disease. Not to mention, pollen allergies get worse everywhere. So, yeah. So, yeah, let's back up. It doesn't matter where you live in our country. You're affected by something that's being caused by the changing climates. That's being caused by the warming of the earth. That's being caused by more greenhouse gases. That's being caused by the way we're making energy. Remember what we saw earlier. 80% of our energy that we use for our everyday stuff comes from those fossil fuels. It's putting all that carbon into the atmosphere and it's causing all these other problems. So it's affecting everybody. It's not just somewhere else and somebody else's problem. It's all our problems. Allergies get worse everywhere. So, yeah, it's serious for all of us. Of course, we're not the only country on Earth. Small island nations are literally disappearing under the sea. One-fifth of Bangladesh is at risk of going underwater, which would force tens of millions of people to become climate refugees. And while some have too much water, others have too little. Farmers in Africa are suffering from major droughts and are unable to grow food. This is terrible stuff. It's really scary to think about. Yeah, and while we're all at risk, many of the poorest people are being hit the hardest. Many live closest to the sources of pollution, and they have the least resources to protect themselves from the dirty air, extreme storms, and droughts. That's really unfair, especially because they're creating much less CO2 than others. But you know who else it's unfair to? You. Our generation didn't start this problem. We didn't choose to do nothing about it for decades. But we're the ones who are going to have to deal with it, because we've got our whole lives ahead of us. The younger you are, the less you've contributed to this problem the longer you're going to be facing. In fact, lots of young people's lives have already been affected by climate change. Let's meet a few. I know, and that's the saddest part of all. Those who are doing the least are going to suffer the longest because you're going to live longer with all the problems that are already happening on our planet. 